Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing? And so I am doing the best of drugstore eyeshadow palettes. This video could also be renamed ColourPop the Year in Review because that's mainly what I have is a lot of ColourPop. And ColourPop went ahead and launched um, both in Ulta and in Target this year. And when they launched in Target, they did a whole nother line of makeup that we had never seen before that was specific uh, to Target. So um, we're going to go through that. And we're going to go through uh, some other drugstore. Like I said, I mainly do ColourPop, so it's going to be a lot of ColourPop. And we'll go ahead and get started with ColourPop right off the bat. And as far as what I'm wearing today, really quickly, uh, Pretty Fresh by ColourPop in 55 Neutral. I do have the Incognito um, as far as my concealer on today, and this one's by Wet n Wild. Cheeks, moving on to that, LYS. This is uh, their unique blush, really deep, burgundy blush, really pretty like it a lot and as far as what I did for the highlighter on this I went ahead and used two highlighters the elf halo glow and rose quartz and then I also used the supreme rose beam by Catrice and these are both uh, really icy pink highlighters so that's what I have on right now and then as far as what else I did on the face, I used one of the Target um, ColourPop eyeshadow or nine pan eyeshadow palettes, and they're all nine pan that came out for Target. This one is Plum Season. It's what I have on my eyes right now. I did go ahead and start with this in the crease, used uh, this on the inner corner, then this on the lid, this one on the outer corner, and this one right below the brow. So that's um, the palette. It's a very purpley. It has both purples based on gray and purples based on red. And so that's what I have on my eyes today. I also used some of this color down here as an eyeliner. This way that the look turned out. So that's the way that that looked. And that um, takes us down to, I think, 12 of those palettes. So. Um, I also did go ahead and use the NYX. This is a Butter Gloss in Snow Cone. So it's a really pretty fuchsia kind of color. And I think that's just about everything I have on my face, other than the Volume Stylist by Essence and the Essence Thick and Wow in Caramel Blonde as far as my brow. And uh, let's. Uh, Oh, I forgot one other thing. The Hard Candy uh, Sharon V Glow Setting Spray as well. So let's go ahead and we'll start with the ColourPop that launched at Target. And we'll get through those. And there are a lot of those. Um, what I've been doing basically is I've been picking up a palette, basically a palette once a month. And so I now have a really uh, big collection of what they did over at Target. Forever Floral came out during the summertime, and it's a really pretty. It has some bronze, peach, and uh, rose in there. It's a really pretty palette. Uh, blue Velvet, if you want an intense blue look, this one will do it for you. Oh, Daydreaming. This is, um, the story behind this is it was released in the summer, part of a dreaming collection that's about dreaming about Paris and the Eiffel Tower and really pretty colors and all sorts of glittery fun colors in there. Really nice palette. Love that one. Mopping Up. And for, um, if you want a nude palette, I would actually suggest Mopping Up because I'm going to go ahead and show it next to the plum season here. And this has actually worked out to be a nude palette for me. Um, so there's plum season, which is purple, purple. Uh, this one, if I want a nude look, this is what I do. I come over to this one. 
and I don't know if it has the right name, but I think it's a really good palette. So, um, yeah, good palette there. Again, all of these are nine pants. And um, this Fresh Greens palette, really pretty as well. And um, has uh, some gray and pewter shades in there with the green colors. Really pretty as well. And then uh, Peach Out. Peach Out sort of lost its packaging here. Um, but I got it to replace uh, Baby Got Peach because I used all of that one up. And so this is what I got for the replacement. And then uh, Vibe Check. Uh, really pretty. It has a whole bunch of different shimmers in it. Mostly uh, red or purples based on red and pink shimmers. So purpley pink palette. Really cute. Uh, Bloom. Super Bloom, which is this one. And again, it, um, this one has greens based on gray. Really pretty. Very different kind of palette. Um, if you want to get a little bit more of a different green kind of look. Uh, Truly Iconic is the last one from this group. And it has, excuse me, a whole bunch of really pretty shimmers in it as well. And then what I'm also including in this group are the holiday palettes that came out. And they came out, well, um, you can get them on the ColourPop website or over at Target. This one is Jingle On, and it's going to be more of a nude palette sort of thing going on. Uh, these ones, this one is Naughty List, and um, with all the Cool Town or Cool Tone palettes coming out, this one is uh, different colors of gray. It's kind of pretty. And then this one is called Sweater Weather, and uh, it's actually a brown palette, but it has some really pretty bronzes in it. So I was really surprised by this one, and I definitely like that one a lot. Okay, so those are the palettes that launched over at Target. Everything except for the last three, these type, um, those were all brand new to Target. They hadn't been on ColourPop before. They're all new. And these holiday palettes are new as well. So I guess we'll go back to the beginning of last year and um, get in a couple of palettes that I think kind of really influenced me this year. Mm, pardon me. And not all of them are ColourPop. So uh, this NYX, this Avatar from um, the Avatar movie, Water Connects All Things, is a beautiful palette. And it really got me thinking about um, what you could do and how different palettes could be. And then another palette that came out at the beginning of 2023 is a Profusion Metachrome palette. Uh, this has multi-chromes in it. And, um, it's available on Walmart um, or uh, the Profusion website. It's probably available on Amazon as well. But these are mattes on the outer ring, and then the inner ring are all uh, duochromes and multichromes. And it's a really pretty palette if you want to go ahead and play with some duochromes and multichromes and not spend a gazillion dollars. So this is kind of how last year's sort of or started how it started and where it kind of ended up. So another one that came out, and I've really loved this palette, has been the Lavish palette. And this was available on the ColourPop website. I don't think it ever made it to Ulta or Target. But um, All Amethyst actually came out earlier. So... But these two, if you ever want to put two palettes together, and I used to do a whole series on this where I would find um, complementary palettes, but these two go really well together. Um, All Amethyst isn't from this year, but Lavish is. And um, really good complementary palettes if you want to go ahead and put them together. Another palette that came out from ColourPop that really got me thinking was It's a Small World. 
and uh, Disney Club here, but I really liked a whole bunch of these darker matte shades, some of the reds in here I hadn't seen before by ColourPop, and the quality on this palette is really good as well. Another palette that showed up earlier in the year was um, The Legend of Korra, and a really fun, it looks like a book that you kind of open up, and another really good palette that came out this year. So I told you it is ColourPop a year in review that I'm doing as well as some of my favorites here. And then the other palette that came out in the springtime um, was the Winx Club. And this was the first time that we really started seeing some different ColourPop formulas and also some duochromes. And so this is a gorgeous palette as well. Again, new this year. And um, give me a second here. Okay. So we got through the springtime and then we got through the Target color pops. Um, let's go into what launched at Walmart, which was the Relove Revolution. And I don't think we had a lot of this line. Uh, or at least we didn't see a lot of this line. I think it was more in the UK than um, what we saw. But it launched in Walmart, and everything is $5 or under. These palettes, and they are six eyeshadows. This is the Empower palette. They ran at $3 a piece. And so they kind of, we weren't looking for them. But I think we're kind of glad that they showed up. Uh, the Euphoria palette. And again, these are over at Walmart. And then the Manifest palette. Again, these are all six size shadows. And um, let's see. I now have far too many things. Okay, there we go. Uh, the Soulful palette. Again, these are all Relove Revolution, all six-pan eyeshadow palettes. Uh, the Belief palette by Relove Revolution. And again, um, six eyeshadows. Uh, Fearless by Revolution. And um, yeah, so these are all running at $3 a piece. Uh, the packaging is very definitely a uh, drugstore, but actually it is uh, pretty reliable because I put these through some stuff. Express there. And so those are the ones that I have. I don't have all of these, but like I said, I was picking up one of the ColourPop palettes, you know, I get one of those once a month, I get one of these, and so I just sort of uh, did a lot of collecting, I guess, this year. And then another palette that was right in the same area was the Revolution Nudes and Light, and so another really pretty palette there. So um, that sort of is getting us into summertime here. And um, what happened during the summertime was that NYX went ahead and released a whole bunch of palettes. Um, I picked up Vintage Jean Baby, and I think they had like four or five palettes in this format that all launched right about the same time. This is the only one I picked up from that collection, and now I kind of wish I picked up some more. Um, but they did do another holiday palette. This is the Ultimate Flamingo Toast palette. And so this is what NYX went ahead and released for holiday this year. And it's really pretty as well. And those are the two NYX palettes that I picked up this year. And quality on these are really good. Quality on the ColourPop are really good. And the Profusion are really good. So didn't have any problem in the, uh, yeah, in the whole quality thing. Um, as far as summertime, which I guess is kind of where we are right now, this actually came out last year. I didn't pick it up till this year, but it's Garden of Juvia's. And not only is this color story beautiful, 
but it, they actually um, have some duochromes in here that are really pretty as well. So again, if you don't want to spend an arm and a leg on duochromes or multi-chromes, um, there are some of these definitely, um, and I have a few more coming up. Uh, this one has this candy shop by Juvie's Place. It has some duochromes as well in here. Again, another really pretty palette. And these are on Alta and the Juvia's Place website as well. Uh, Juvia's Place came out with a bigger one. And um, this is a gorgeous mega palette that they came out with. And it does have a lot of um, multi-chromes, duochromes in there. So again, if you want to play with multi-chromes and you don't necessarily want to go and buy some of the pretty expensive um, indie palettes that are out there, you can definitely go ahead and try them with some of the Juvia's Place. Uh, ColourPop actually came out with uh, multi-chromes as well and these are the way theirs look. Uh, these you can get over at the ColourPop website or over at Ulta. So both places have these and um, they are very very pigmented and um, they do they are definitely multi-chromes. So uh, there are those. Um, we're moving into a palette, or into a couple palettes now, that ended up over at Ulta. The Heavy Petal palette um, originally was on the ColourPop website, but uh, yeah, it ended up over at Ulta. It's a very pretty palette as well. And then a palette that I got later after it released. It pretty much released, I think, in the summertime. But... Um, I didn't pick it up until later, and that's the Lost in Wonderland, um, the collab with Di uh, the Disney Alice in Wonderland. Really pretty as well, and um, it's just one of those palettes that when it first came out, I didn't really think I needed it, and with it has some really pretty duochromes in there. It has one of their... Um, one of their glitters in the new formula where you don't need a glitter glue, which is this one. And it ended up just being a really pretty palette as well that I really liked. And um, let's see, where are we? Oh, this one. For Love and Justice, the Sailor Moon. Yeah, Sailor Moon. And um, this is the second palette in the series. They did the first palette a couple of years ago. I think these are both over at Alta and the ColourPop website. And um, it's, a, it's a neat little palette. I liked it. Um, let's see, what else are we getting into here? Oh, okay. Give me a second. I need to rearrange, and I will be right back. Okay, so back again. So in the summertime, the um, Yucca palette from Natasha, Natasha Denona came out, and everybody's tried to start finding dupes for that. This doesn't look like it would necessarily be a dupe for it, but actually um, it has a whole bunch of the duochromes, the gold to the greens, and a couple of the charcoals that are in Yucca. And so it's Dreamscape by Profusion. And um, yeah, this whole section over here that has the green and the yellows and then the charcoals over here, um, it, it does actually work really well. And I think it's new this year. I'm not quite sure it's new to me this year. So yeah, it's kind of new. Um, another ColourPop palette that came out and kind of blew people away. It really did. And it it's a really good. It's one of their makeup palettes. It's the Smoking Hot palette that came out that has a ton of peach and red and um, plum. Let's see what else. Gold. Uh, brown. So if you're looking to get neutrals in a fun palette, like some neutral browns that you can use in a really fun palette, 
this is definitely one to go ahead and pick up. Um, it just, uh, I thought it would be only for summertime, but it's not. And um, it gives you a whole bunch of, a whole bunch of different color, colors of neutral browns, uh, both matte and shimmer. Uh, some plums, some reds, some peaches, some golds. It's just really pretty palette. Um, haven't seen anything like it from ColourPop. And it come, came out this summer. And I think we were all kind of taken aback by it. So we, we're up to summertime. Um, I do have an Essence palette. It's Welcome to Sin City. They came out with a whole collection of palettes. This one is actually all um, shimmer. So it's an all shimmer palette. Uh, a couple of my shades are a little bit cracked, but everything's still working. And it's a really pretty palette. The quality on it is really, really good. I would definitely go ahead and recommend it. And I mean with a name like Welcome to Sun City. Yeah, it's kind of cool. Another one that came out was from Alter Ego that does inspiration palettes. This one is um, in their Midsummer palette. It's inspired by the um, Anastasia palette. And uh, yeah, what is the name of that one? It's, um, well, anyway, it'll come to me. But again, a really pretty palette. And it came out this summer and really nice. Love I'm working with that palette. Um, one of the make palettes that actually came out last year, but I keep on picking it picking it up and now with all of the cool tone palettes that came back and were so popular the Aurora Struck is another one from Colourpop that you might want to pick up if you want to actually get some cool colors the cool kid colors <laughs> no the cool colors um, this would be a really good one uh, just to like round out your makeup or your eyeshadow collection if you don't have a lot of cool palettes this one is really good it doesn't necessarily fit for this year but it's a really good one and um, let's see then we can go ahead and move into some of the other ones uh, pretty please actually came out I think during the spring time but again another really good palette and I got it to replace a couple of palettes that I had that were getting older. And I really like the, um, the purples and the roses, the golds, and the silvers. And this has a whole bunch of those in there. And this one is a really good quality one as well. So if you see it, it's definitely a good one to go ahead and pick up. It's on the ColourPop website. I think it may still be over at Ulta, but I'm not sure. And we're starting to get into the end of the year here. And um, before we get into the end of the year, um, I did pick up a couple of things from Beauty Bay. And I tried their 16. When they do a palette, they do a 42 pan palette, a 16 pan palette, and a 9 pan palette. I tried the 16 pan palettes, and um, this was actually a really big, it was a big deal for me because I had tried the 16 pan palettes and I really wanted to do to get more. Uh, this is the earthy palette. This is going to be greens and browns and golds. And so I picked up this one over at Beauty Bay. Really good palette. Um, haven't even really begun to delve into these ones. They're kind of intimidating and they aren't as expensive as you might think. Beauty Bay runs a lot of sales. The Midnight Palette as well. And like I said, I had tried the 16 um, pan palette of both of these. And I just went back and got these. Because the formula is so good. And uh, Beauty Bay is based in the UK. Um, when you order from them, it will take a little while to get here. It's usually about two weeks, maybe a little bit longer. But um, they do ship from the UK. So they are coming across the water, across the ocean to get to you. So 
it does uh, it's not going to be like ordering from a company here where you get it in you know within a week or whatever um, so going back to ColourPop now they came out with uh, some different palettes the rock on palette and this one has a lot of bronzes and reds and is really pretty again pretty different palette it's almost the smoking hot palette and sort of made into a nine pan palette so um yeah for traveling this one would probably be a lot better than smoking hot um but they have a lot of the same colors and then pretty it crosses over a lot mm -hmm. okay so I think probably this Mad About Hue, I got this as a rescue palette because sometimes when I'm doing looks and trying palettes and I don't have time in the morning to go and wash my face and start all over again uh, with a look. So this kind of a palette, it's all mattes. It's from ColourPop. It's one of their makeup palettes and it works um, to go ahead and give you some mattes to finish up a look that or change a look that isn't working for you so i have definitely named this one my rescue palette and um two of the biggest palettes uh were released actually at the end of the year for our color pop and the 1111 palette is released right at the same time as the Natasha Denona I Need a Nude. Yeah, I Need a Nude palette. And it was pretty much thought to be on a spot on dupe. It doesn't have as many shades in it, but um, the whole idea of it is the same. It's very much um, the same color story. It's a very curated color story. It's supposed to be one where you can go ahead and mix and match just about anything in the palette and come out with a, a good look because it's supposed to be that curated. Hmm. And I think we need to take a lip gloss break. I will be putting a little bit more on here. Yeah, makeup channels. We take lip gloss breaks just to refresh, you know? So, yeah, that's what we do here, you know? So, anyway, um, let's see. Another palette that came out right about the time, same time as the 1111 palette. The 1111 palette hit. Everybody wanted it as a dupe for the Natasha Denona. This one is a really good palette and it slid right under the radar because the 1111, um, the Angel palette, went ahead and it took over everything. But the Cloud 9 is a really pretty palette. It's a cool tone, cool tone palette. It's very light and... Um, it actually works pretty well with the 1111 palette. So, you know, let me go ahead and get both of these. I'm not sure if they're exact companion palettes, but I put them together and worn looks from, or worn shades from both of them. And so they're really pretty. Uh, definitely can work well together. So, um, yeah, to, uh, complimentary palettes there as well and then we get into the holiday palettes and I don't have that many of them but I'm so glad that wet and wild showed back up because a lot of us um, in the beauty community have been sitting around not sitting around especially not this time of the year sitting around um, but we've been watching makeup companies disappear and you know they after the pandemic so many companies just weren't able to make it through and you would uh, watch um, like what's up in makeup or some of the other ones and you just see these companies just going into bankruptcy or collapsing or whatever and it was just so sad in every way because in a lot of ways um, these are 
really good companies that you know we trust so to see wet and wild do the holiday and come back with the holiday um, palettes I was just really happy because for a while there I was concerned about them maybe not being around much anymore this one is uh, sugar plum whiskers and it turned out to be a really good one it has two glitters in there and so um, really liking the wet and wild formula and I'm so glad that they didn't disappear as a company and then um, let's see this one again they came out with three palettes this one is nutmeg paws there we go more of an everyday kind of palette and uh, yeah that's what that one looks like and then this one over here which is jolly berry jumper and again I'm so glad to see you wet and wild because I've missed you and I'm glad you're back and um, then again um, over on the ColourPop during their um, let's see Black Friday and Cyber Monday um, that's when I picked up this Mad About Hue which is all the matte colors in the makeup palette I also picked up the Sweetest Can Be palette that has been re-released by ColourPop about two to three times and um, I haven't picked it up till now I'm really glad that I did um, I think it's yeah this is a fun one it really is I'm glad they brought it back and I think that's just about the whole year in 